Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your February career and finance reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, so Cancer, let's jump into this. I'm going to have somewhat of a structured reading. Um, so the first question it will be, uh, should Cancer stay in their current position or business or whatever you do to bring in income wants to know if should, should cancer stay in that current position and or business Let's see should cancer stay in that current business and or what did i say current position or business <clears throat> three of cups um you got a yes answer you should stay okay um Maybe you work with friends. Um, there's a good community of people you work with. Um, you're getting you're getting along very well. Um, definitely personal relationships and how you communicate and how you think. It is, and that's your energy. Two, three, four of cups is Cancer. Um, how you think, how you communicate is 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 respected and it's accepted here in your environment. Um, you may be very charismatic, uh, outgoing, friendly, you know, in your line of work. And it allows you to, to foster friendships and relationships of those of those sorts. You might even hang out with friends, I mean, with, with coworkers here. Um, whatever your business is, it, it could be to where you... Um, you frequent social events. You could be an event planner. You could be a party planner. You could be a promoter of events. You could, um, whatever it is you do, you definitely communicate create creatively. Is that word? Or creatively to the masses, to your community. Um, your message is receptive. So yeah. Um, Keep going. Also, there might be an opportunity for you to celebrate. Some of you might be in a party type industry or celebratory type industry uh, where you bring lots of people together of some sort, or maybe you entertain. Some of you could be actors, actress. Um, so yes, you should stay in that field. Um, let's ask the question, is there a new opportunity here for cancer? The hangman, uh, we would have to say maybe. This is a three and one and two, it's a 12, is a three. Um, maybe there's new opportunity here for you. Only if you see something from a different perspective. You gotta turn something completely on its head. You got to look at it alternatively in terms of finding new opportunity in this. You also have to possibly let go of something or some old perspective, some old way of thinking, uh, right? Because the threes govern communication and thinking. So maybe you have to, to see this new opportunity. You gotta communicate to the people differently. You have to think differently in order to bring this new opportunity into fruition. You gotta let go maybe of some partnerships, of some of the social events, of the, the uh, charismatic type of energy. Maybe you got to be a little bit more stern. Something has to be turned on its head. You're going to get some enlightenment. Also, typically, this hangman has on the red pants. We know that red stands for power. So maybe you have to, in order to gain some more power, to gain some more prestige, you got to turn something around. Uh, maybe you have to turn your, reput your reputation around. Um you may be communicating kind of immaturely because the threes talk about early education. So maybe you, you um, how you communicate, how you think is definitely shaped by your early education from what you saw, how you communicated when you were younger. Maybe you need to kind of, you know, take it up a notch, have a little bit more professionalism about yourself. I don't know, we gonna see. What's going on here, though? What is the advice for cancer? The seven of Earth. All right, so 
they want you to look they said uh in this business in this career in this path that you're on okay um the divine is here helping right but uh in order to see maybe a greater invest in, uh return on your investments you you're going to have to get more in in control more in control of how the money comes in or the work that you're doing The advice is also to wait, wait it out, wait it out, evaluate to reevaluate. Okay, so this is like um, energy put in uh, the out the the um, output of energy. What's that uh, equation? I forget the equation, guys. I've been out of school too long. Um, but the the energy spent to get the desired outcome like maybe you may be putting in too much energy right too much work and not getting enough outcome like you're not working smarter you're working harder and because you're so close to the situation and for some of you you've been doing it for so long that you're not even recognizing it so this is what this is what they want you to see. That's what they want you to turn on his head. Like they want you to see this from a different perspective. Maybe you you do have enough money to take care of yourself, to do this, to do that, you know, blah blah blah, whatever. But you could even have even more or you can have the equivalent if you if you do less work, if you learn ways to be more effective in 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 your work like the that uh equation for for work work is the the energy spent time spent equals output or work yeah. don't get me somebody out there knows what i'm talking about because cancers are real um some of you guys are really smart and analytical like that but what i'm saying is you might be putting in too much work and and getting uh under some of you underpaid or you may be getting not enough okay um so you, they want you to look at how you work and how effective it is or how in, ineffective it is um and they want you to shift this okay um some of you been working so much and so hard that you you're looking at like i work hard i work so much um you know i should have this or i'm gonna have this or i'm gonna have that when you could really be doing less work and getting the same outcome. So they want you to be more effective, okay? So they want you to cut down, not cut down on productivity, but they want you to have the same productivity, the same outcome, but with less work spent, less energy spent. All right, so it took me, what, five minutes to explain that. But the outcome, if you take the advice of the cards, if you reevaluate how you're doing work, the Knight of Wands, very nice. So the outcome is there's going to be some creative opportunity that opens itself up to you um, rather quickly. And you're going to, and time will be of the essence in terms of um, taking to this change and actually uh, seeing it through or seeing this project through. The one thing about the Knight of Wands is, yes, he's single, he's singular in his focus okay his focus is not plural he's singular in his focus in his direction in his um in his goal like he's got one goal and he comes in to fulfill that goal he's not going to give up this talks about the knight of wands talks about success S success to that one goal right um and then he's out so you may have an opportunity to to make some money or to make some change that will then uh, allow you to make even more money or be more productive um, some creative change that allows you to be focused on that one goal and then be out this is not ongoing because we know that the knight of wands is in and out but it's about being focused on that one goal to make that effective change here right it could 
it could be in terms of uh, how your money comes in, how it cycles in, how it the in and the out of money, the, the, the cycle, the, the over and over again. Um, very interesting, Cancer. So they want you to look at how you make money. Um, they don't want you to keep looking at the frou frou or the foo foo of the of the of the job or the business, how you have so much fun and you know you have great relationships with the people you work with. Um, you know, those are fringe benefits of a, a work environment. But everybody's there to gain income, and that should and that should be your first mind. And then your second mind should be, how can I do my job? How can I do my business, run my business more effectively and efficiently? Um, because I want to put in less work and get the maximum amount uh, of return, okay? Um, so don't get too bogged down in the fact, oh, I have so much fun at work and I have so many great relationships and everybody's so fun and fun, fun, fun. Um, but then you work it so damn hard or you're working so much and it's like, wow, I thought I would have made more or I should be making more. Um, yeah, they want you to get into that analytical nature of things. Okay. Um, wow. You got a windfall coming. Look, this opportunity that comes into you maybe uh, might allow you to make a, a large sum of money re really quickly. So you're, you'll be in and out with that. Like, the Nine of Wands, it's not going to be a thing that you're going to be doing every week, every day, where there's going to be a creative opportunity for you every day to make a windfall. No, that didn't even sound um, realistic. No, there's an opportunity for you to change something, to have some uh, positive. So the windfall could talk about positive change, good luck. It also could just talk about a large sum of money. There's an opportunity for you to shift um, the energy here and be focused on maybe a windfall, maybe a windfall of good good luck money, okay? So there's an opportunity for you to get in, get out, make the money, okay? Um, let's see what else. Adult children. You could be an adult child, um, or you have young adult children, and they are taking center stage here. Um, you may be the adult child, and you're concerned about your parents, so, um, yeah, that's a, that's an issue here with the looking back with the seven of earth. There's an end of an era here, and it might be uh, for you working so dang on hard, um, not being focused on the goal at hand, and it's to make money, make money, make money. Wow, finances. So definitely, and we talked about the in and out and the cycle and the, you know, the the money comes in, the money goes out, the money comes in, the money comes out, goes out. But then there should be, in certain times and periods and eras, where the money, it's not just a cycle of money comes in, money comes out, but it should be, okay, more money comes in, maybe less money comes out. More money comes in, a little bit more money goes out. You know, there should be a jump, a progression here. And they want you to be concerned about your finances, okay? Maybe you're having too much money go out or you're not making enough money here. Um, but you're but you're doing so much work. Let's see what the fortune telling Sabilas have to say for you. All right. Um, so you know we shuffle these seven times and then three more times. So a total of set ten times, all right? All right, one more. This looks good, uh, Cancer. Like, you can really end an era of spending too much time doing a lot of nothing. Wow. Fortune, guys. Like, you can really have a fortunate change for you if you really look at something different differently. Turn it on. You know, turn this situation on its head. You might be doing, you've been doing too much work for too long, and you've been getting the same outcome. So, and you, you can shift your, your fortune. But some of you feel like you can't change this. Some of you feel like you're in a mental prison. Like, 
like you're in that cycle. Money comes in, money goes out, money goes in, you know. And it says that you have the opportunity to get out. Yeah, some of you may be suffering from sorrow here, thinking that, okay, it's never going to get better. But it's, a, it's an end of a cycle here. Foe, back to those friends in that work environment here. Um, somebody may be dutifully, uh, purposely keeping you preoccupied at work. Or maybe it's yourself. Wow, these cards just don't lie. Now look, you ain't got to listen to me, but you should listen to these cards. And then what pops out? Frivolity. Frivolous. Frivolous, careless uh, uh, relationships. Friendships. It's frivolous. It don't mean nothing. Wow. And, and that could be what's going on at work, guys. And then at the bottom of this deck... Um, you got relationship dynamics. Some of you feel differently or you're going to feel differently after this reading about going into work and, and being all fun and games and play, play, play. And you're working really hard and you ain't made enough money or you make just enough money or you're not thinking creative, creatively to actually bring in um, a new way or a new wave of doing something, a new opportunity that can bring you a windfall Come on, guys. We go to work for number one. The number one reason is to bring in income, to make money. The second one is uh, we want to we wanna do less work, get the same level of productivity, okay? We want to work effectively and efficiently. If you're taking a long way all the time to do whatever it is, you are not being effective. Okay, frivolity. Yeah, being fickle and changing and undecided and uh, irregular and um, what is it? Uncaring. So fr something is frivolous or, or frivolity here. Let's talk about foe. So there might be someone could uh, purposely keeping you preoccupied so that you're not or something purposely keeping you preoccupied preoccupied that then keep you on your game so a competition a comparison um the other side of the fence yeah so you need to so somebody could be competing with you or comparing themselves to you um or, or you need to do that or you need to compare and contrast something going on in the workplace um you need to embrace something that you didn't think of Embrace it because it could bring you joy, uh, sorrow here, um, loss, something's risky, there's a decline, there's a decrease, losing, you got money issues, we saw that, something is a no-go, a breakup in a relationship, you're betting against odds and losing, you're unable to see the causes of your problems and your consequences or your decisions. Then I say, that, like, some of you are too focused on people relationships personal relationships and not on your money and that's why you could be having money issues stuff is keeping you preoccupied we got prison here y'all need to turn this up y'all you need to be more professional yeah you go to work and they're like oh so and so's not talking today not making jokes not being a class clown or a clown today prison something is limiting you you feel entrapped or enclosed um some some situation is making you feel restricted it could be this job and you're doing something for a long period of time so you you're, you're experiencing a loss of freedom because you got to do this thing you're not working efficiently you're just working um you could also be feeling guilt or shame um, you could be punishing yourself. You have, you might have some outdated beliefs or old ways of thinking. New perspective with that hangman. They want you to see something from a different perspective, guys. I wish I could shake you out there. Them old, the old ways is preventing you from going anywhere. Wow, man, this is crazy. Something is censoring you. Um, and you might be unable to express yourself because of this um, 
got her captivity. Like somebody got you in <laughs> Okay. Jesus Christ. Captivity. Uh, fortune. So look, you can have victory. We saw that in the outcome. Um, you can have success. You, um, a miracle can happen to you. Make sure you get praise to whatever higher power you believe in for all of your abundance. There could be a lucky streak with a windfall card. Um, your dreams could come true. Uh, don't be too focused on the outer and material gains of life, but you have inner riches, okay? It's something you have unexpressed talents. And maybe you've been expressing it in the wrong way, in the wrong time, not getting paid for it. <laughs> um, and you need to really foster those talents, okay? Then you, at the bottom of the deck, I'm kind of prompted to read. You have old woman. Um, let's see with that. So um, this may be something from your past that you need to incorporate. You need to make more wise decisions. Um, some of you, are too, uh, you, you, you're not yielding to new ways and you're rigid in your thinking. Um, some of you, there's a fear of aging and, and, and or running out of time. You know, when you fear growth, aging, and you feel like you're running out of time, it's because you feel like you're not where you need to be in life. And as long as you have breath in your body, you can change that. That's a dy dynamic you can change, okay? Um, if you feel like you're not where you need to be. That's a dynamic you can wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I, I want to be here. I want to be doing this. I want to, you know, X, Y, Z. So then you move and you act in that energy. Um, and then spirit gets behind you. That's that's divine intervention. That's a divinity helping you. Um, that's those lucky breaks and, and lucky streaks. But it only comes uh, after you make the decision to move in a, a different direction here. You see something differently. Flip something on its head. You've been looking at something in the same light for a very long time. You get these old ways of thinking and these old beliefs that just aren't serving you right now. And you're getting nowhere, going nowhere fast. Um, cancer, you got a lot. You just need to change your mentality here. Um, don't participate in frivolous activity. Uh, the day-to-day wash, rinse, repeat type of situation has got you bogged down and feeling like you're in a prison. But you have the the power to change that. You are a co-creator in your destiny. You know? Uh, so you have to um, just really act on that power. Cancer, I hope that this reading, that you took something from this reading. I feel like it's a really good reading for you guys. Comment below. You don't even have to tell your whole story. You can just say, good reading. Or I took this from it, or I took that from it, whatever. If you feel like you have a question or two, um, you can always text the number below. Text your question. You know, um, should I, uh, you know, it, am I being too frivolous, too careless with my finances? Um, am I putting money where I don't need to put it? Am I um, expending too much energy into making money? Um, could I be productive somewhere else? Questions of those natures definitely can text the number, paper your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device, or you can take advantage of the Valentine's Day special and where we can get on the phone and you can ask questions and um, hopefully you'll gain some guidance there also. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.